was coming in two by two last year, apart from the two elephants, we had two camels and two giraffes, and it was just an absolutely incredible. Look who I found. Simon, you're safe. Oh, thank God, give him here. No, I'm never letting him go again, oh. never, ever. You hear that? Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Don't ask me, it was a nightmare. Why, what happened? I want to know everything. I've been on two trains and a bendy bus. Nightmare, I don't suppose there's any chocolate milk going. Oh, come me. <laughs> He's obviously had a terrible ordeal. He seems fine. I needed that. So let me get this right. You made your own way back, all the way from Blackpool. I could read a train timetable. How did you find the station? Follow the signs. And where did you buy your ticket from? Automatic machine. All that way? It's 50 miles. But they've got back last night if they hadn't cancelled three trains. But where did you sleep? I tried to sleep in a photo booth, but it wasn't very comfy and it was too cold. Didn't any adults come up and talk to you? You know, ask you why you were walking around on your own? I kept hidden. I was terrified. Anything could have happened. Yeah, Grandad George got a lot to answer for. But he's still an adult. And you had no right to run away from him. Sorry, Dad. There's some terrible people out there. And what you did, that was very, very dangerous. I had to run away. They said they weren't bringing me home and they said... They said what? Said they were going to take me to Berkshire. <laughs>